Okay, so we have to find the definite equivalent circuit of the following circuit, and then we have to find the current passing through this portion when RL is equal to the following numbers. So we'll start by finding the definite resistance. To define that, you have to turn off all uh, independent sources. So we will rewrite the circuit like as the following. So if you turn off a voltage source, it's just a closed wire. And then if you turn off a current source, it's an open wire. So it'll be like that. And then since we're finding a definite between uh, terminals A and B, we'll first ignore this for now. So it'll be an open wire in this portion. All right. So our devlin. So it'll be 4, 12, and 1. So we'll find, let's find the Thevenin resistance. And this will be RTH. So 1 over 4 plus 1 over 12 to the power of negative 1 plus 1. So RTH is equal to 4. So that's the first one done. Now let's find our second one. Let's find uh, the definite uh, voltage. So pretty much, it's the vol. So since we're ignoring this terminal for now, uh, since it's an open wire, all current in this section will be zero. So that means there's no current passing through here. So that means the definite voltage will be any point near near nearest to it. So it'll be this portion because after that the current is zero. So this portion also counts as the Dominant area. So the dominant voltage will be at this portion. Okay. So pretty much just think after the region where if you move beyond it, the current will be zero. That the region uh, before we hit that point, that will be the dominant uh, voltage area. So for now, now we pretty much solve the circuit as it is. So we treat it like, so we just ignore all of this portion and then we just find VTH over here. All right, so v, this, we have to still solve for this portion. And since this is a one whole node, v, it'll be the same throughout this portion. So let's do a mesh. Actually, let's just do a nodal equation. Hold on. So for this whole node, let's call it node VTH. Let's write directions of current. Let's call it I1, I2, ground node. So it'll be I1 plus I2 equals, uh, this was 2 amps, so I forgot to include that, 2 amps. So I1 will be VTH minus 32 all over 4 plus VTH uh, minus 0 all over 12 equals 2. Now let's solve for VTH. Bring this to the other side. So 2 plus 32 divided by 4, that's 10. And then combine these two. So 1 over 4 plus 1 over 12, that's 0 0.333 VTH equals 10. So 10 divided by that answer, uh, VTH is 30. So let me erase this. VTH is equal to 30. Now we can find the definite current. So definite current is pretty much, uh, so since we know V is equal to IR, V definite is equal to the I definite times the resistance definite. So ITH will be VTH over RTH. So it'll be 30 over 4, and that's 7.5 amps. So I, TH, is equal to 7.5 amps. Now, the, what we can do now is write a definite uh, circuit. 
So we'll have our voltage here. Then our resistor. And then our resistor load, which is this portion. So since we're including a res resistor load, our current will be a different value. If we didn't have the resistor load, then our current will be our definite current here. But since we have a resistor load, we'll have a different current value. So let me write 30 volts here, 4 ohms here. Now we want to know what the current passing through, uh, through here will be when the resistor load is 6. So, you know, V equals IR. So I will be 30 over 4 plus the resistor load. So when RL is 6, 30 divided by 6 plus 4, that's 3. So let's call this I6. Uh, then what about I16? It will be 30 all over 4 plus 16. So that gives you 1.5. And then what about I36? So I36. It's 30 divided by 4 plus 36. And that's uh, 0 0.75. Alright, so those are your final answers.